Hello and welcome to my latest attempt at starting a Jurassic Park Trespasser playthrough. Uh, I've had various issues each attempt, so hopefully this will be the one. So much mail. Ages the game. I never really paid attention. Her TV in the background's definitely the 4-3, but then again, this game's 98, so I guess that makes sense. My little Indiana Ann, world traveler extraordinaire. Extraordinaire. Well, give me a call when you get back, okay? By the way, I thought you hated flying. <laughs> GQ magazine right there. I have a feeling when the plane's going down, puking in the the bathroom's not where you want to be. I get a sip of coffee while this loads. My new coffee mug. Alrighty, let's do this. Hey Ann, why don't you tell me how the water feels? It's warm. Is that so? You know, maybe you should check on the other people who are in that plane. Hello? Marquez? Are you there? Estás ahí? He was shouting when we went down. He's trying to level us out. I've played this section a couple times. Uh, jump. Come on. Come on. There we go. Well, just go. Come on. All this beautiful architecture that, uh, InGen made not too long ago at all. <laughs> I must say, if this is seriously the structures that Engine made, then their construction team should probably be fired. I think I'm going to skip past that uh, jumping training thing because I am not very good at it. That is beautiful here. Yeah. It must be one of the offshore. Warping islands. textures. Cocos. One of the sinkum wet is maybe. muddy, smudgy, whatnot. Just gorgeous. Come on. Eight, Eight shots. shots. Put that on your back. Heavier than I thought. Keep it steady. You gotta have something before you can keep it steady. Five. Bam! I killed a box. Two. With one Four. shot. Come on. That's it. Nice throw. <clears throat> Eight shots. Break that chair. Bam. <laughs> so yeah, you can have one gun on your back or one gun on your side. Eight left. Eight left. Eight left. Mm. Maybe. I think your arm just twisted the wrong way. Phone line or a radio. Bam. Sorry, I like jumping into things. Hmm. I can't switch between watching it on Engine. my computer and watching it on my Some TV. Kind of... Wait. Engine. International Genetic Technologies. That was the company from the dinosaur trial. So I was just looking to After the trial, pictures. that old guy, John yeah, Hammond, wrote a book. He, he said it was somewhere in Central America. My name is John Parker Hammond. 
I was born on March 14th, 1928. Oh no. Oh God. This is Site B. This is John Hammond's Lost World. Now... This implies that they wanted to make Site B a tourist attraction. Which is inaccurate because Site B was supposed to just be where all the science took place. And then uh, Site A, or the actual Jurassic Park, was supposed to be a tourist attraction. And I suppose there's a possibility that down the road they had, had plans to uh, do something more with Site B but it was never really mentioned in the books that I can remember. <clears throat> I'm trying to, I'm trying to, There must oh. have been something in the memoir. A Nobel Prize or a financial empire waits somewhere in a darkened room, in a dirty, derelict building, somewhere in the Pacific. I was trying to find something yesterday, and I'm thinking this isn't where, where it was. I just dropped my gun, but it doesn't matter. I came over here to grab another one. Come on. Around 10? Ten shots. Ten shots. Yeah, I thought it was here. Oh, that's accurate. Mercedes, just like in the movies. So, oldest of our recreations by 50 million years. Where's the second one? The only true Jurassic native. Oh, man. He really did it. <coughs> oh, there he is. Hold on a second, I got a nice big cough. <coughs> of course, me playing around with the microphone's probably just loud. No, I looked over here. I don't know if there's anything worth grabbing. No. Alright, let's go talk about the Brachiosaur butts. That just... Why did you drop that? Around ten. Ugh. How's that butt smell? Oh, come on, you're not going to do it? Where is it? Oh, I can't trigger it. I'm stuck. Now that is an incredible smell. Thank you, Anne. Oh, my gun. Come on. Around 10. And let's hear about rain. In May, the rains came. The smell of the jungle was everywhere. <laughs> Thank you, John Hammond. See, I'm basically supposed to believe that she has a... that she read his book that he wrote after the dinosaur trials. And that, uh... I knew all along this was a stupid idea. They're probably out and then basically them. she's remembering various things and as she's seen stuff in the yeah, environment. Too. 
if I ever find it, uh, kind of leads to the question of how detailed was this, uh, Nine. nice, this memoir, because he has comments about everything. The technology, the real trick of it is still in there. In a dark room, 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 an empty building, <laughs> a dirty room. It waits. The flashpoint. The origin of Jurassic Park. See, usually this puzzle takes me forever. Then I notice something. Oh, look, there's a ledge over there. I bet that's easier. Huh. Turns out, a lot. A lot, lot easier. The forest this wild, this unknown has not been seen by any human since the great hunters of the early Pliocene. I wish I could find what I'm looking for. Oh, I'll just toss the next raptor at me. The drunk one. Ah! Six. <laughs> Sound like someone was home for a moment there. See what time I got. Velociraptor. You're a little late there, John. Small teleport, native okay, we're doing fine. Mongolia. I gotta get ready Quite for work nice. early today. Quite intelligent. This was the place. This used to be just an urban myth. Oh, I'm about to lose my weapon, so I want to use this one. Shots. Yeah. So that's what that feels like. I heard something. Huh, whatever. Oops. Come on. Come on. Just steps. I am just holding the up button. She's having that much trouble on her own. Welcome to the city of tomorrow. Of tomorrow. <clears throat> yeah, when I jump over that wall, it's going to end level one. Oops. And it doesn't matter. And when you go to a new level, you lose all the weapons you currently have. Oh, come on. Nice one. That didn't kill me. Yeah, for people not familiar with the game, that tattoos my health bar. Uh, most of the time, it's uh, uh, completely empty of color. <clears throat> when you get hurt, it turns red. When you die, there's suddenly like a vine of thorns wrapped around it. There we go. And level. Luckily, there's a gun right here. Eight shots. <clears throat> An idea brought me awake one morning in New York. I almost didn't write it down. That's a good thing you did. Now tell me, what was this idea? Oh, come on, you can tell me. Please? Pretty please? What if a mosquito sucked the blood of a dinosaur 100 million years ago? What if? The insect is then covered in trees, which, over the millennia, becomes amber. Then I decided I can take this idea and sell it to Michael Crichton to write a book about it. Uh, the insect is preserved perfectly. But you see, and here's the clever part, wouldn't the dinosaur blood be preserved as well? Actually, I really, really love the books. The blood holds DNA. Michael Crane's an excellent Tiny writer. Shame that he passed. 
Abracadabra. Abracadabra. Three. Eight. I should have had you fight the stag. Oh, whoops. Seven. Six. Five. And now it all falls apart. Three. That was close. How's my health? Oh my, I'm almost dead. Three left. <laughs> Yeah, first time I read the Jurassic Park book, I was like 12 years old. Like, Michael Crayon's like, uh... Sunlight angled down through the dusty air in Norman's office, and I leaned against a solid oak table. Isn't there a gun over here? I outlined my plans for international genetic technologies. Huh. Oh, yeah, there's one over there. Okay, so... Three there left. Have three, so... Oops, wrong button. But anyways, yeah. Read Michael Crichton's book for the first time Empty. when I uh, was like 12 years old. Guys, okay, Harvard Medical Grad, so like all the science in it is believable because of how good of a writer he is. And uh, yeah, I had no clue what I was reading. <laughs> Six left. Probably read that book like seven, eight times. Yeah. Oh, I might be close to that Jeep I was trying to find earlier. <clears throat> it was the flowering of an ambition born 50 years ago. 50 years struggle come to this. Okay, I think that's it. I'll deal with this raptor first. I want to save those big bullets. Three left. <clears throat> Two. One. That's it. Six rounds. Ah. Uh. Crap, I am doing really bad. Two. There. That really sucked. Empty. Yeah, you don't say. Ooh, I don't think I knew about that. It was Oops. the flowering of an ambition born 50 years ago. 50 years struggle come to this. Two shots. Ugh. Eight left. <clears throat> Two shots. I know this is powerful, but I think I'd rather have a mound over power. So we're going to waste this. Looks like seven. Okay. Now, like I was saying before, she read the memoir, and so she's seen things and remembering what John Hammond had to say about him. I, I can accept that, although it's strange that she hears him in, in his actual voice. But this one here kind of amuses me. Like, how detailed was his memoir? Engine standard safari view. State of the art. The only thing I would have made that better if, it, if he said, spare no expense. I just have to figure out how to get out of here. <clears throat> How are we doing on time? <clears throat> All right. I'll go a little bit further and call it an episode.
That's a pretty good vehicle. That's decent incline. And it just... Wow. State of the art indeed. Oh yeah, I think I want to see a Triceratops in just a second here. And two Velociraptors attack it. Fight back! <clears throat> wow, usually the Triceratops uh, kills him. But I think they might get him this time. So much blood. Oh, the animations in this game are amazing. <clears throat> oh, Trike got one of them. Not quite how far I meant to come down. It's very calm considering what's going on. Eight left. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that was great. That was a solid hit. Oh my. Oh. That might be the first time I've seen him actually kill the... Wait, is he still alive? Wow. He actually won. Better go kill him. Congratulations on your victory. Seven. Six. Oh, crap. Four. Three. Two. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I can can't even imagine how much easier this game would be if they had a simple like laser sight. That actually might be a good place to save and call it a episode. Oh, wait. Let's make a phone call first. A phone. Oh, thank God. The main switchboard is temporarily unattended. Please contact your supervisor. La computadora principal está temporalmente fuera de servicio. Por favor, contacte a su supervisor. Physic <clears throat> Physics are wonderful. Sorry if I keep coughing into your ears. Only two left. Where's my gun? Only two left. Only two. Huh. 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 
All right, yeah, if I'll get down here, I'll kill these last. I think there's two raptors over here. One or two, I can't remember. And then call it an episode. Two shots. Him. Yeah, and that's empty. That's it. Looks like seven. Looks like. Six left. Looks like seven. Oh, where did he go? Is that him way up there? I don't want to be ambushed. Oh, great. Now I got two. Get back on her. Six. And that's why I like shotguns. Oh, just bring it on. Five. Four. Are you kidding me? All right, <clears throat> I think that epic battle will be a fitting conclusion to the first episode. Thank you for joining me. Oops. Oh great, it's doing this weird save thing again. I have to hit escape to bring up the save menu, but if I let it go, that happens. So I have to hold it down. But if I click save, that happens. So, click options, release, escape, and now I can click save. Yay game. Yes, I want to overwrite. Thank you for joining me.